I'm, I'm, I'm so excited that we are, we, 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 we've spoken about this and we are talking about it. And um, maybe as we begin now to, to, to wind it up, I want to also hear another side of yourself. So you, you, you are a writer, um, but you've also written a book. Yes. And you are podcasting. So outside of the development space, can we, can we spend the last few minutes just hearing about this other side of yourself that's also very interesting? Go back to 2008. Mm-hmm. Actually, go back to the time that I was changing my name. Okay. A curiosity was built in me to try and understand who we are and how we are. Mm-hmm. So I, I had started spending a lot of time talking to older people and trying to understand guys who are grandparents, guys who lived in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, that age. How are they... How are they functioning? We read the history books, and the history books only tell us about Kenyatta, Tomboya, build at Kagia, and so on and so forth. Mm. As the people fought for, you know, for independence. We mm. think about Dedan Kimathi and so on. But our grandparents were there. Yeah. They were not anyone, but maybe they were fighting for independence too. Mm. And how are they doing it? So I started asking these questions. Mm-hmm. And as I was listening to different grandparents, I started taking some of the stories they were telling me and throwing them into a book. So mm. there's a book called Living Memories mm. um, that I published in 2009. Available in all leading bookstores in Nairobi. Not anymore, actually. Uh, no? Because we ran out of... We've, we've, the last circulation um, ended um, in 2019. Then what happened? COVID, so, COVID. <laughs> COVID came. And we were talking about republishing, and then I said, but why republish? Ah, I see where you're going with this. All right. Why don't we instead do a podcast? Mm-hmm. Because the young guys w- will listen to more podcasts than... So you didn't think of a book, book, uh, um, book, book, an, or audiobooks? An audiobook. You what we're of... doing uh-huh. is that we are going to, we're going backwards. Aha. Uh-huh. We're going to do, uh, tell the stories via podcasting. And then, and then eventually, if people want, we shall publish a book. Right. But there's, you know, if if people haven't signed up to the podcast, I hope they they do. It's called Living Memories with Al Kags. Yeah. I, I hope they do because what what the plan is. Please is do that, Living Memories with Al Kags. Yeah. So far, uh, one or two are in there as of the time of this recording, and fantastic, animated, very very beautiful stories, and uh, we have two hundred fifty. Subscribers, or more stories, oh, untold stories. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, so by the time this is airing, there will be probably a few more. I I am expecting that even by the time this is airing, yeah, there's going to be maybe 250 more stories to tell. It's oh, going yeah. to be going out every Sunday. Oh man. We're going to be publishing one story every Sunday. Oh, beautiful. Um, for maybe the next 250 days. Oh, that is that's a whole year plus. I mean, yes. that's a lot. That's four years. Four years. Yes. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's so, more than story. I mean, the stories you you done on the book were you, just thirteen. Thirteen. Yes. But you had spoken to a lot more. You had spoken yes. like to. I've been more speaking. I've, I've been over the years, people. even after. Yeah. I've been speaking to lots of because people because I remember at some point you wanted you almost were publishing the second uh, the yeah, sequel. Yeah. In fact, I was going to publish a, a sequel, but mm. then a couple of things happened. Mm-hmm. One is uh, I was growing uh, two small businesses. Yeah. Um, I was growing good. Yeah. And at the same time, Open Institute has just started. Mm-hmm. So they're all very young. Mm. And what is interesting is that in 2010, I got married. Mm-hmm. I got married to a wonderful woman called Liz Lenjo. Mm. She's a lot more well-known than, <laughs> than, than I am nowadays. Um, she's an in, intellectual properties lawyer. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have two children, Harry and, and Haley. And so what happens is that... Um, because of now that, because of the fact that we are very hands-on parents, um, we are homeschooling our children. We are um, you, and you're juggling that and and work. Eventually, we said, okay, this book will have to take a pause. Take a pause. Mm. Happily, um, my son Harry is, is has grown. Um, my wife's career is, you know, blossoming, blossoming, and mm. it's on an even keel. Mm. 
um, um, the businesses now, uh, Thelesi, I'm not there mm. actively anymore. Mm. On this other side of Open Institute, things are stable. We have a good team mm. that are driving things. Mm. So that means that it gives me a little more time. Mm. And especially now that I moved out of the hustle and bustle of Nairobi, mm. my commute mm. from my house... Oh, that alone My was... commute from my house to, to the office is um, a one-hour walk of four kilometers on the beach. Oh, you actually have an established office? In I have Malibu? my own private office. In okay, Malibu. all right. It's not house office? And no, office. it's not a house office because mm. my daughter Haley is um, a very happy child. <laughs> so, <laughs> so as a result, um, it, it is easier for us to have an office separately. Yeah. And what we do is that our commute involves a walk on the beach. But you and your wife? Yes. Okay. Because we share the office space. Yeah. So our commute involves either walk oh, on the beach so beautiful. Or, a, or a two minute drive. <coughs> okay. If we must have the car, then yeah. two minute drive. Yeah. Um, that's that's one. That's really nice. Um, and therefore I have a lot more time. From mm. The commute in Nairobi was, yeah. was longer, oh. it had stress yeah. and yeah. so on and so forth. Yeah, traffic in Nairobi is not... For the weak at heart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'm weak at heart now. <laughs> <laughs> I can say I must get yeah. out of this place. Yeah. So when I'm there, I found that I have a little more time mm. where I can mm. devote to mm. um, developing the podcast. Mm. And so that's something that uh, okay. um, Beautiful. I'm doing. Beautiful. Um, and, you know. Mm.